Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we are going to be looking at some air attacks in the new meta of Town Hall 13. These are from the boys and girls at LP4 Hades, where they put on a great performance against Kudamari, and these are four slightly different Town Hall 13 uh, air attacks. Recently, the meta has shifted from uh, being all ground to sort of mix of air and ground. And the reason is that a lot of people like to have uh, ground expos. And in order to counter the perceived ground meta in uh, these days. So with the hybrid strategy and Yeti Smash being so popular, people decide to put all their expos on ground in order to defend that as best they can. So LP480 likes to exploit this by using uh, Electron, as you see here, they use Sui Lalo and Mass Dragons and even Mass E Drags, which I uh, posted a video about yesterday, so go check that out if you uh, missed it on it. If you missed it. So here the Electron value was crazy, crazy strong. You got two scatter shots and the Ego Artillery. So if you're able to take out two scatter shots um, with some kind of kill squad or a queen charge, then that base is kind of wrecked depending on how many spells and troops you used in order to get that, um, in order to get that, I want to say outcome, but that's just the start of the attack. It's like the outcome of the first phase of the attack. So loons crush it from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock in a counterclockwise fashion starting from the left side and moving over towards the town hall and then finally there's all there is left is an air defense and two inferno towers which is pretty strong but with enough haste spells and the um, warden surviving after those air defense attacks it's definitely going to be wrecked so great job to Kiki for that one I'm glad you guys responded really well to the um the Legend League video yesterday. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'll do my best to sort of make that series as as well as I can. And I want to improve it every every uh, release. So that'll be fun. So next up we have the Mass Dragon attack. So, well actually it has a uh, sort of clone dragon, but you'll see why I want to call it the mass dragon attack. Starting off with this attack, the heroes are on opposite sides to funnel all the dragons in. They're just dropping all the dragons at uh, 10 to 11 o'clock, along with the warden and all of the things. And they're just going to sweep through the base with the help of some free spells and the warden ability. The queen and the king did a really good job of funneling and just one sweeper is against them and they're gonna face the eagle pretty early and I think that's um, one single inferno and one multi inferno and the single inferno is not the not in the back so that'll help with the back end of the attack so he won't get like stuck in a situation where he has one single inferno up and only like three dragons and like up against it trying to take that out. So in the end he's gonna have quite a few left over. And he's fighting against this the scatter shot and two archer towers. Dragons are pretty slow, so it might be a good idea to save a couple of minions or archers or something for the back end. He also has the Royal Champion which he dropped pretty late, and the Royal Champion's actually going to take care of all the rest of the Archer Towers and the Scatter Shot, and that is going to be the end of the base. The uh, Royal Champion really gets, like, stopped pretty efficiently by Skeleton Traps. That's an important note. We're left with 25 seconds remaining and a bunch of dragons and the Morden. We only have, what, like six structures left up when it was at 24 seconds or so. So, let's just show you how 
slow these dragons really are. So it's important to have cleanup troops, even in a mass attack like this where it was pretty quick, but definitely could have been faster. Next up is the Sui Lalo, classic Sui Lalo attack. Starting off with the heroes at 12 o'clock, and with the help of some wall breakers, they're going to take out the town hall. So with the town hall positioned so far to the outside and not protected by the CC, it's likely that this is a damage CC. But since it was, since he didn't bring any poison spells, it's possible that the defender just forgot that that was important. That it was important to bring a uh, damage CC to a base like this. So yeah, Kiki's just able to exploit that and not even bother to bring a poison spell, but instead bring an extra haste or an extra freeze. And these Sui Lalo attacks, um, it's also nice to bring a heal spell, but having two scatter shots in the same location, so, uh, more or less, it's really going to be interesting to see how he does this and how he figures out whether to use the maybe the warden ability over that or the heal spell and a couple of freezes. So I guess we'll find out in a minute. Freezes the Inferno Tower and rages and hastes the loons. So they'll end up in the core of the base. He's able to freeze both scatter shots with one freeze spell, so that's very, very unlikely on a base. That it's usually people will have the scatter shots all the way across the map instead of close enough to actually freeze in a single free spell. So heal spell was used for the back end area by the back end inferno tower. And having back end um, single infer uh, multi inferno towers is actually kind of rare these days as well. So it's good exploitation of the base. So it's definitely possible to do Lalo attacks, especially if the base is asking for it like that base clearly was. So very good job to Kiki for the six pack. The enemy royal champion is really doing some damage to this army. It's going to take a lot longer than it should have to clean up this base, so I'm not sure if there was any sort of a time, um, a time like scare there, but ended up getting the triple. And finally, we have the mass e drag attack, and this one's by Godblin of uh, Proc. Proc and LP4 recently decided to help each other out for the upcoming events in ESL. Um, so, and this was also a CCL match, I think, which is a community league. So, Proc also decided to help out here with LP4. And that's where we get uh, God. So, straight up, there's heroes on the sides, and with the E drags straight down the middle. Warden ability over the Town Hall, Gigabomb, and just selectively using freeze spells to freeze enemy defenses that would um, hinder the e drags as much as possible. Back and Royal Champion is going to take out the Lava Pups, and is also going to help the e drags by keeping them going faster through the base. Raging up the Royal Champion is also a cool idea. Although the E-Drags aren't going to get much value from the Rage spell, it is good for the Royal Champion. That last blast from the E-Drag to take out the Eagle is actually a really close call. Because at this point, if that hadn't have happened, the E-Drags would still be getting pummeled by the Eagle Artillery, and it probably wouldn't have been a triple. Still would have been pretty close, but probably not. 
Probably not a triple. So yeah, that is the air meta for Tunnel 13. We have Mass Dragons, Mass e drags and Suilalo and Electro. Electro, I think, should be exploited a little bit more. Um, it's kind of underrated at the moment. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Raze Gaming, and I'm out.